Good morning, happy Saturday. Oh, hang on a minute, there's another dog under coming. control. You can see it's, oh, and another dog. You can tell it's later on in the day already, can't you? It's about quarter to nine. So everybody's already out with their dogs. It's drizzling. It's not too cold. And we are out stretching our legs and hoping to do some business. And it's Saturday. Andrew is at work. And we're going to what to do with ourselves. So I shall finish my walk and get home and have some breakfast. Ugh. Wet, cold drizzle. So we are back in the warm and it's time for a nice lazy morning breakfast on a Saturday. So I made some carrot cake baked oats last night uh, and I filled it with 25 grams of mincemeat for three and a half sins. Also in there is 40 grams of oats for a healthy extra B, an egg, a splash of milk, some mixed spice, a grated carrot and some skinny syrup. Then I've got defrosted berries and a banana and custard yoghurt for half a sin. So my breakfast is four sins and my healthy extra B. Well, proper good morning. I think this is the first time you've seen my face today. It's still wet and cold out there. But I have decided I do need to get out of the house just for an hour or so. So I've got some presents to drop off to Andrew's brother. So I'll drop those off. And then I think I'll go up to the farm shop where we had afternoon tea and see what veg and meat they've got in for Christmas. So I'll take you with me. If I fancy a coffee, I can have a coffee there because there's a cafe. So I've got a banana as well just in case because I'm sure they'll have lots of delicious cakes on offer. But I'm not going to have a cake, not today anyway. Um, I'll have a banana instead unless they've got something else that might be really healthy but I doubt it and I'll give Charlie some of these from Emma and Whiskey. They actually almost smell nice. Wag treats cookies with peanut butter and chicken so we can have a couple of these to keep him occupied. So next thing you see he'll probably be in the farm shop. I'm here at Spuds and Berries. I've just been in the, uh, which is the farm shop. I've just been in the shop. I've got loads, well, I've got all the Christmas veg and a couple of nice cheeses, um, which I'll show you when I get back. But I was very disappointed with the meat selection. Now I know you do usually have to order like your turkey and beef and that, but they had nothing like that to, in stock to choose from. 
Um, and the bacon. I wanted some bacon for tomorrow morning, but it just looks awful. Um, but I did see another advert for another or another sign for another farm shop on the way here so I might uh, drop in on that one and I'll let you know if I get anything. I didn't really feel like stopping for a coffee. Um, I didn't even go and look at the cakes because I thought no um, I might be tempted to eat something I shouldn't so I haven't been for a coffee so I'm going to drive back along this road and see if I can spot the advert for the second farm shop. So the second place I thought was a farm shop was just a tea rooms. Uh, so I didn't buy anything else from there. So no bacon for tomorrow's breakfast, but I'm sure I'll find something else in the house to eat. But I'll just show you what I bought from Spuds and Berries. So I got two nice cheeses. These were £4.99 each. Um, naturally smoked mature cheddar and Yorkshire, Wensleydale and Cranberry. So that's my Christmas cheese. Don't ask me whether they're a healthy extra A. I don't know. Um, We'll maybe look into that after Christmas when we need to use them up. And then the veg I got was two parsnips. I love a roast parsnip. A broccoli. Two small swedes. They didn't have a big one. So I'm hoping that, you know, we can just microwave those as we usually do and have them between us. Uh, three fresh carrots for to make carrot and swede mash. A cabbage. And then I got eight clementines, the ones that you get on stalks, and they were um, four for a pound, so I got two pounds worth, because it's just me that eats them. So I thought eight would probably be enough to see me through the next few days. So I spent, I think that came to about 18 pounds, and they look really, really fresh. But I'm going to have to get my meat from Morrison's tomorrow. So 12.30 and it's lunchtime and I'm also going to relax for an hour or two before Andrew gets home, watch some soaps and other things that Andrew doesn't enjoy so much. So I've got a egg wrap for my Saturday lunch. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've done a two egg wrap, fried a skinny omelette in a 28 centimetre frying pan, seasoned with salt, pepper and chilli flakes then I've spread over the wrap 15 grams of Crucial's barbecue sauce for half a sin and filled it with green leaves two Linda McCartney vegetarian sausages at half a sin each some of this diced beetroot from Morrison's which I really really like and a cheese slice which is half a healthy extra A so that's my wrap then I've got green leaves, cucumber, red onion, pepper, tomatoes and on there I've got my favourite Skinny Food Company Thousand Island dressing which is free on the plan. I've got one of my new clementines from the farm shop, a plum and a Diet Cola. Yum yum. Good afternoon, it's 10 to 2. I'm just watching some programme about Coronation Street at Christmas, which I think was on last night, Friday night. I've just had sweetened yoghurt with half a banana and a coffee. Andrew will be home soon, so I'm going to enjoy the last of my peace and quiet, but I want to just have a chat with you. A few of you seem to enjoy me looking through the Slimming World magazine yesterday. So I'll um, maybe do that again when the next one's out and I'll uh, w w when the new year comes round I'll have a go at a couple of the recipes and a couple of recipes using the JD seasonings as well. But I have a dilemma. So we're, we usually shop at Matt's and Spencer's for Christmas but we're not doing that this year. I'm going to Morrison's tomorrow, which of course I'll film for you. And we prefer chicken to turkey. And we love the Morrison's extra tasty chicken. It comes in a bag and you just shove it in the in the oven. But there won't be enough left over for sandwiches. There'll be a bit left over, but not a lot. So what size chicken? do you get for two people 
to have a generous Christmas dinner and enough for a couple of rounds of sandwiches each? Or should I just give up on the chicken idea and go for a turkey crown? And do you get it from Morrison's or do you get it from the butchers? Or do you always have to order your meat? Like I said, said earlier, I was hoping that they might have something I could pick up at the uh, farm shop. Um, but I think what we'd seen on Facebook, you actually had to order it and then pick it up on Christmas Eve. And I haven't got time to be going anywhere on Christmas Eve. So yeah, I'm going to go and get the Christmas shop tomorrow or the rest of the Christmas shop because I've got the veg today. Uh, but yeah, I need to get some meat and some snacky bits tomorrow. See, So what are you doing? Are you getting a turkey? Are you getting a chicken? Are you getting other meat? Where are you getting it from? Let me know. And let me know what size you're getting, especially if there's only two of you. Charlie's relaxing in his bed. So I'm having five minutes peace and quiet. I'll check in with you later. Right, Andrew's home now. How are you? Have you had a good day at work? Marvellous. Did you get any reaction to your cake? Yeah. Um, I said that, ooh, that cake looked, ooh, it did. It looked like a Max and Spencer's one. Mm. Mm. And how did it taste? Chocolatey, I would think. Chocolatey. Yeah. What do you think to my veg that I've bought? Veggie. They're very plump. Plump and bright coloured, aren't they? Yeah, they're very nice. You can tell the difference, can't you? Yeah. <coughs> I'd say that the the butch out there, <laughs> like me. What do you think, chicken or turkey? Well, I mean I prefer chicken, but I think I think we're gonna have to go turkey this year. Yeah, we'll see what Morrison's have got tomorrow. Mm. Right, I'm going to drag myself out with Charlie. At least it's stopped raining now. So I'm going to go out for half an hour with Charlie, come back and peel the veg for the evening meal. And I will see you then. So all at home now and in our uh, house clothes, ready for a cosy evening. And we've got our evening meal. Andrew's got breaded chicken and chips and I've got a burger. So it's a burger made with the Spice and Tice Gourmet Burger Rub. I've got a second cheese slice on there for the other half of a Healthy Extra A choice. A salad, my normal bits of salad, including beetroot, potato and carrot chips, and half a sin's worth of the low sugar tomato ketchup, and then the other half of my sweetened, <coughs> sweetened yoghurt and banana, and a sugar-free Vimto. So that is... Half a sin for the tomato ketchup and half a healthy extra A for the cheese slice. So it's coming up towards the end of the day and my snack plate. So I've got a piece of my mince pie baked oats that was left over from breakfast. I've got an Aldi spiral double chocolate bar for six sins, a persimmon fruit. And I've got some Claudia Baker's Kitchen low-fat low party nibbles. This is the jalapeno and agave leeks. And that is 20 grams. And for every 10 grams, it's 7 calories. So that, all that is one sin. Now they are very hot and spicy. But they'll make a lovely um, sort of crisp replacement. So I think I've had um, six sins elsewhere in the day. So that leaves me on 13 sins. So thank you very much for watching. This one's decided to eat his dinner. And I'll see you next time.